Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. It is Wednesday at 9.30 Pacific, and that means we bring on Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So we got a couple of topics today. Why don't we first talk about mortgage insurance? Why don't we define what it is for folks that don't know? And then really highlight the fact that mortgage insurance is actually getting cheaper, which could move the needle uh, for some home buyers. So what is mortgage insurance? Right. Yeah. Mortgage insurance, for anybody who doesn't know, is, is, is an insurance premium you pay when you put down less than 20%. So if you're doing 3% down, 5% down, 10% down, 15% down, you're going to pay mortgage insurance on conventional loans. You're going to pay it on FHA loans. And um, I've seen it over the years from you know probably 2014 i guess when i started mm-hmm. steadily get cheaper and cheaper okay and you know i'm specifically talking about conventional loans because fha it's just a flat mi fee regardless mm-hmm. of what your credit score is okay. and you know conventional is a little bit different based on your credit score the mortgage insurance changes mm-hmm. and you know based on on the market what different lenders are doing it can, it can be more expensive or cheaper. It is just continue to get cheap where I look at it now and I go, holy moly. Hmm. Like I look at it now and I talk to folks about it because if you've got $150,000 in liquid and that's all you have in your life mm-hmm. and you're looking at putting 20% down on something that cost a half a million dollars and it's, it's nearly all your liquid cash. Yeah. If we look at 5% down and you've got great credit, your mortgage insurance is only $60 a month. Yeah. Maybe you borrow 95%. And and that might be unpopular to Dave Ramsey fans and some other people, <laughs> but but you know, for me or you or people that understand how to leverage debt, yeah, it just makes all the sense in the world. The more the more mortgage insurance gets cheaper, it makes more and more sense in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, let's play that out because that's a very that's a that's, you know, that's not a Dave Ramsey thing, right? That's going to go against a lot of people's kind of natural natural inclinations. But yeah, let's just say it. Let's say you have you're you're buying a half a million dollar home. Or I mean, shoot, let's say it's a $300,000 home and you have 100 grand liquid, right? Let's try to make it more na- national, right? Cuz again, the median home price in the country is 386 now. So let's say 300 and you have 100 grand saved. You could technically put 20% down right? 60 grand, a couple of closing costs, maybe you're in and out for 66. You're in, you're not paying any mortgage insurance, but now you're sitting on 34,000 bucks, you know, again, just doing straight math. And, you know, that's not as comfortable, right? Because then again, if you go back and you do 300 grand, you got great credit, you do 5%. Now you put 15, maybe 18, 19 grand down. You still have 80,000 bucks left. It's much more comfortable position to be. So usually people are in a rush to not pay PMI. If, if PMI is that cheap, uh, if it's 60 bucks, you, you, you're right. Maybe it's strategic. Maybe you say, yes, I'll take PMI. I'll keep more cash reserved uh, just for, you know, rainy day funds, or maybe I want to buy an investment property or, you know, you know, I, what do you think the average time is for PMI? Cause again, you put 5% down Prices increase like they have the last couple of years. You're out of PMI in two, two and a half years, right? Right. Yeah. And a lot of lenders will put something in there where, where it's got to be on there for at least 24 months. Sure. So, but even if you plan three to five years, which if we're being conservative, you're going to have MI on there for three to five years. You know, that is for a lot of people, a good trade-off where it's yeah. probably not a good trade-off is huh? if you have a 665 credit score, 680 credit score, and your mortgage insurance is a lot more expensive. Right. And, and that's why it's important to, I love doing this math stuff with, with clients because I just did the math. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because, cause I, cause, cause what I would do in that scenario that you brought up, Mike, is I would say 300 grand, 20% down, 300 grand, 5% down. And a lot of people don't know. And, and I don't know what's best for them or what's, what's, what makes them feel more comfortable. So I'll present the options and I'll say, Absolutely. listen, you can have 25,000 sitting in the bank. Or you can have eighty thousand sitting in the bank, and you can have a two thousand dollars mortgage payment or twenty one seventy five. Exactly. So you're going to borrow more. Your payment's one seventy five more, but you got a lot more money in the bank. Or you're going to borrow less. You're going to spend more of your money up front. Now you've got twenty five k in the bank and a smaller mortgage payment. Which one's more important? I don't know, and I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. I'm, I might, you know, a lot of people too. It's funny because I'll present options and and I'll tell the people on my team like, hey, we're not trying to be sales folks. We're trying to present yeah. options and educate and 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 let people know. You would be surprised how often, Mike, and I've learned this and trained my team on this. 
they, after hearing everything go, okay, what, what would, would you, you do? do? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I still get that all the time too. What would you do? And I think, I think this is a great example. So again, you did some math on a 400K loan, 5% down where the PMI is 63 bucks with great credit. Did you also do the math on what it would be if it was horrible credit? Well, I didn't go to horrible. But what I did was 700, 740, and 780. Okay. And I'm going to record a video probably sometime today that will be out tomorrow. Um, but I can go over them quickly sure. where, you know, 3% is more risk to the lender. So you're only putting 3% down. That's always going to be the highest MI. So um, uh, 700 and above, you're almost always going to be better off in conventional versus FHA. So okay. at that 700 score, which might be on the lower end for conventional, if you're putting 3% down, it's a 0.74 factor. So 239 a month. Okay. And this is 400 grand, 3% down. So 388 loan amount. Yep. Um, if you qualify for home possible and home ready, those are 3% down programs with an income limit. Your mortgage insurance is cheaper. It's 0.57. Oh. So oh, it's wow. only 184 a month. Okay. Um, then you put 5% down, it goes to 152 a month. You put 10% down, it goes to 108 a month. Okay. As you would imagine, higher credit score, lower mortgage insurance, okay. more down, less mortgage insurance. Um, it's all about risk, you know, to okay. the bank and there, and there's. So, let, so in your examples, let's do the lowest to the highest. So 3% down lowest credit, which I think was 700. What was that payment? Um, that's 264. 239. Oh, 239. Okay. And then if we went best credit, most down, I mean, how cheap does it get? Well, even with just 5% down on a 780 credit score, it's only $63 a month. Oh, so it's, it's $150 swing roughly. Yeah. It's like a fourth of the cost okay. uh, or, or I guess, yeah, I guess 152 was the 5% down. And then, you know, it's only $48 if you put 10% down, but even at 3% and here's something where like, you're going to get rewarded for having good credit. Right. You've got great credit. You're buying a $400,000 house. You're only putting 3% down mm. and your mortgage insurance is only 106 a month. That's great. You know, the, the factor is 0.33. And I'm going to put in my video, the factors for anybody who doesn't understand the factors, you take that 388 loan amount, you times it by 0.33%. Mm -hmm. It gives you a number, you divide it by 12. That's your right. monthly mortgage insurance. Yeah. And I think, I think you're right as well as that. That was the math that I was doing when I looked at my phone. I was like, let's plan for three years. At whatever it was, sixty-three bucks. You know, it's it's twenty-one hundred dollars, two thousand one hundred and sixty bucks. I'm like, man, I would keep the eighty grand in the bank, save the sixty, do a down payment, plan to refi out in three years. I mean, that would be, you know, kind of my plan. So yeah, it's it's a uh, sixty bucks a month or seventy bucks a month if you round up. It's like, oh, that's peace of mind is worth that to me, at least in my opinion. Right, for sure. And I remember too when I bought a house back in two thousand seventeen it was a conversation within my household I'm sure. and with me and my wife was like, do you want a lot of money in the bank or do you want a slightly lower mortgage payment? And my wife, and I think a lot of folks out there, you know, there's some stability and there's some peace of mind yes. with money in the bank. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then there's people that don't need money in the bank, but they want to go deploy that yeah, and make right. eight or 10% on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So again, PMI is a very interesting discussion. One thing I would say, if you are in California and you are currently paying PMI, you need to reach out to Matt, the mortgage guy, because you need to have a conversation. Do you want to look at getting rid of it, lower your term, get a cash out refi, or just do rate and term? There are so many options today. I just saw the Mortgage Bankers Association out again, say refis are up 7% week on week, purchases are up three, and the average 30-year rate is 3.03. .03. Just right. amazing stuff. Yeah. And, and existing home sales also came out today. Uh, they were up 14.9% uh, or 14.6% appreciation. So again, a lot of people who have been paying PMI. You don't have to, especially in California. So how do you want them to reach out, Matt? Uh, reach out to me and the team, Matt at mattthemortgageguy.com. And I want to add on to what you were saying. Mm -hmm. If you have an FHA loan and you're in California, give me a call. I'm yeah. looking at stuff right now where people have uh, a 3%, a 3025 and we can refinance. If, if, if the loan amount is big enough, we only got to go to 2.875, remove 270 in mortgage insurance, and we're going to save you $300 a month. Wow. And that's going to pay for itself in nine months, right? It's, it's, <sighs> it's an easy math for yeah. let's get you the heck out of the FHA loan. Because even, even people that I'm looking at that have a 690 or a 705 credit score, mm -hmm. there's no reason, especially, especially, you know, FHA is just 
a, a factor. Mm-hmm. And so a, a bigger loan amount, 200, 250, $300 mortgage insurance, that's something you want to get out of as soon as you possibly can. If you reach out to us and you can't get out of it, well, at least you try. Yeah, exactly. At least you try. There <laughs> right. you go. And how you want them to do that one more time? Matt at mattthemortgageguy.com. Um, I'm going to set up a, a phone number. I'm going to, in the next month, I'm going to have somebody live that somebody can talk to because I understand not everybody wants to email, but um, sure. for now, that's the, that's the best way to do it and make sure it gets in the system that right. me or somebody on my team is going to reach reach back out to you and, and try to help you. Yeah. And do me a favor. Just tell me you came from one rental at a time or ORAT, which is what one rental at a time is O-R-A-A-T. Just to let him know who's coming from, just so he knows his time with me every week is worthwhile. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Mike.